Zelos is a brand that has become synonymous with the word microbrand, as they are still today one of the most popular microbrands out there, which these days is no easy feat. Zelos is owned and operated by Elshan Tang, a man who has become known worldwide for delivering a very well-made piece at an affordable price. These days, Zelos has a lot of models, and while new models are still being designed, he does release a lot of updated versions of previously released models, and that is what we are looking at here today with the Zelos Swordfish. Now, there are a few changes and tweaks to this dive model, and this ember orange is a new color, and there's also a new field model as well, but the divers here come in either 40 or 42 millimeters. I have the 42 millimeter. And unfortunately, as this review is going up, these watches are mostly sold out. You'll have to check the website as a few versions are available, but I know it shows all versions of this Ember Orange are gone. My apologies on that. I do try and get these reviews up as quick as possible, but I do also like to spend my time with them. And well, there were other watches ahead of this one as well. But Maybe there will be more soon, or maybe you are looking for one on the secondary market. Let's go ahead and get into this video of the latest Zelos Swordfish. There have been many variations of this model over the years, and without seeing the numbers from Elshon, I can't confirm, but I think these might be the most popular model these days, and probably for good reason. Over the years, he has done so many of these, bronze, titanium, stainless steel, all different dial configurations, meteorite dials, sand texture, you name it, it's been done. Back in 2018, I reviewed one of these. Now, I'm not sure what iteration that one was, but it was a great watch then, and at the time, it came with an ETA 2824 or an NH35. These days it looks like they are sticking mainly to the NH35 movements, and the price is $299 at launch and $399 regular price. If you're not familiar with that pricing, basically Zelos rarely does pre-orders, so instead they put the watches up at a launch price where you can save some money, anywhere from $100 to $200 off the standard website pricing. The launch is usually about two weeks or so, and any ones that don't sell at that launch price go for the standard pricing until completely sold out. A lot of times the watches sell out completely in that two-week time frame, and in this case there seem to be a few stragglers hanging around at $399. So what we have here is a watch very similar to what I reviewed five years ago, with some minor changes and updates. The bracelet does seem to be the same, as does the case design and dimensions. Now this particular version has a new dial color, and this is a full loom sandwich dial, which I will show and discuss in a few, but otherwise the hands seem to be the same as before and overall looks to be the same, though one thing I did notice that changed is the model name and size is on the dial instead of the word automatic. On previous models, it just stated automatic and then the water resistance, but here you see it says Swordfish 42. Obviously, if you get the 40 millimeter, it will state that on the dial, and it is interesting to see the size of the watch listed on the dial. It's a little quirky in my opinion, but what do you think of it? Does it even matter to you? Let me know down in the comments. The case, as I said, stays the same, this being the stainless steel case, the watch and solid bracelet do have some heft to it, and what is really interesting about this case is the finishing. Satin brushing is used pretty much on 90% of the case, but then if you look on the sides and underneath the bezel area, you will notice a chamfer of high polish, and the bezel grips alternate between brushed and blasted. The crown is solid and easy to grip, even with the somewhat large crown guards, and the bezel, which may not look like a very easy to grasp bezel, is just that. It initially feels like your fingers will just slip off, but somehow the bezel digs into your fingers and allows you to easily grip and turn without issue. The bezel insert, I believe, is sapphire with the loom compound underneath, and in the darkness, the loom pip is easy to see, but in the daylight, it's virtually non-existent. Now before we get to the bracelet and fit, let's go ahead and show and talk about this loom. Now I can't remember if I've ever seen a full loom dial this color before. Maybe Zelos has released a model with it in the past and I just missed it or I don't remember, 
But this is not your typical loom dial, obviously, and this bright orange dial and bezel turn kind of like a Gatorade yellow in the dark. I will admit it does look good in the dark, and this one does have the black hands, which do seem to have some black loom applied to them, and the BGW9 blue loom on the chapter ring area. Now, there was also a version of this ember orange that had white hands that glow blue in the dark, but that one was only in 40 millimeter for some reason. I think this one is certainly funky, but not sure it would be my first choice, though I tend to be a little more traditional these days, so that's just me. The flat link bracelet has stayed the same. The links are easy to remove with screws, and while I wouldn't say these links are small, they're not massive, and I think that allows for a much better fit to be had. And if you can't get that perfect fit when removing the links, don't fret. Zelos has their new clasp on this, which I believe I have discussed before. It's a beautiful clasp, it's nicely engraved, and it has its own quick, toolless extension. Inside is a button or a slide mechanism, and when you slide this, you can move the extension piece in and out. I still prefer how some other brands are doing it where a link moves in and out of the clasp and the mechanism slides under. It just makes it much more seamless and attractive. I will say though, this mechanism does lock into place. You have to push that tab underneath to move that piece in and out, so when it is on the wrist or when you're taking it off, you can't accidentally slide the piece back in. This bracelet can accommodate a large wrist as you can see. I have a 7.5 inch or 19.05 centimeter wrist and the bracelet is pretty massive and requires four links to be removed to fit my wrist. The end links fit up nicely with the lugs, and with female end links and a lug to lug of 48 millimeters, this is a very wearable watch for me, and despite the weight at almost 200 grams, it is very well balanced. If you don't like the bracelet though, and would prefer a strap, this does have quick release bars, so you can pop it off in seconds, though no extra strap is included with this model. These type of models are for sure the bread and butter for Zelos. The design is modern, yet they still retain the classic elements of what we want at Dive Watch, and they are able to play around with the dials and colors with each variation that comes out. And at a launch price of $299, these pretty much fly off the shelves, and well, it's easy to see why. Honestly, I'm not sure if I can really bitch about anything on this piece, considering the price and all it offers. This ember orange isn't exactly my favorite orange, so it wouldn't be my first choice when it comes to color, but as usual, Zelos offers a hell of a lot of watch for the price. Again, my apologies that these are mostly sold out. Hopefully, you are able to get your hands on one of these if you are interested. Either way, I do want to hear from you. Do you already own one? What do you think of it? Are you waiting on one to be delivered and have a question? Or you want to hate on me for my voice or this review? Whatever it is, let me know down in the comment section below as I love to hear from most of you. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications. It's all free and it greatly helps the channel and it assures you will still keep seeing our videos. This is Don Evans from Watch Report. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.